up in the sky. Look, it's captivating. It's energizing. It's Eliance's Heroes. Eliance's is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups, where our heroes in business align. Now, here's your host flying in, David Kogan, founder of Eliance's. That's right, and the show is all about builders, ones that we can learn from. No matter where you are in your career or you're getting in your career, we always learn something from our heroes. And today's show is, again, like no other because we're going to learn so much. Later on in the show, we have Ed Smith. He is a former two-sport professional player, NFL and MLB. Oh, my God, amazing. And later on, we're going to have Kara Golden. She is the founder and CEO of Direct Source Wealth, your partner in building time freedom. And she's going to show us how to make money and have more time freedom. Thank you, too, for listening. And if you have any questions, you can go to alliances.com to hear more interviews and learn about our community because we're national, opening in select markets. Now, everyone wants to perform better from the boardroom to all parts of our lives. We have with us now the founder and CEO of Your Clear Edge, Deborah Dubree, and she could be reached at yourcleareedge.com. She is a high performance expertise coach. Now, Deborah, what is one of the most common things you hear when professional athletes call you before the game? Because they literally, they're not calling their mama, they're calling you. Well, it depends on uh, what position they play, because it's, if we're talking about NFL players, I've heard from a uh, defensive player that, you know, he wanted his uproar speech, which means I'm walking the floor, I'm cussing up a storm, I'm telling him, you know, how great he is. If I'm working with uh, possibly, let's say, a special teams player, they're more like golfers. You know, they need to be calm, confident, clear, and ready to, you know, hit that field and think more strategically than a defensive player who is often more reactionary. And what about the executives that you work with, too? And they're calling you right before maybe they have to give a big speech or they're just stressed out because everybody gets stressed out at, at some point. Mm -hmm. How do you work with them? Well, it's interesting. I actually had a uh, client who was uh, part of a, a billion, multi-billion dollar corporation and his thing was he had just been elevated to the top level of the company so he was used to being in rooms with other people who were uh, you know board members and that around the world but now the people in the room were going to be very very different so what you know what I do when I'm working with clients is looking first how to build the trust the trust so they trust me to be um, uh, to be a hundred percent they are I trust them to be a hundred percent vulnerable and to tell me exactly what's going on with them their deep deep dark thoughts they trust me to know that I'm there for them that I care about them and I care about their success and I care about them as a human being so I'm always looking at you know what are some of the tough questions I can ask to go deep Rather than giving them content, we're always looking at context. How can we broaden their perspective of themselves to be more of who they are? Now, Deborah, why did you go ahead and start Your Clear Edge? Which, by the way, again, you can go to yourclearedge.com to contact Deborah. But why start it? Well, after 25 years in corpor corporate uh, and climbing the ladder from, you know, just as a receptionist to owning and running a $20 million corporation, I realized that too many people were stuck in their heads and they really were leading companies from the top down. Uh, and that's not a way to lead a company, especially in today's world. There needs to be more understanding. Leaders don't need to know it all. What they need to know and understand is what are the results-based questions that they can ask to get the greatest level of creativity and performance out of those who are on their team. And that's what I truly love to do. What are a couple mm -hmm. secrets more that you could share with us about handling the frustration and self-regulate stress? I mean, can someone really regulate stress? Oh, they absolutely can. Too many po too many high performers, I've heard it before, whether it's in business or in sports, where they talk about, oh, I work best under stress. Well, they really don't, because when you're under stress, you literally cannot think straight, and you're much slower. 
at what you do. Your thinking is slower, your body is slower in movement, and your body, the, your nervous system is affected. So now you got sweaty palms and pits, uh, heart pumping, stomach and butterflies. So one of the techniques I teach, which is a heart math technique, is how to really bring in and visualize what is it you truly want to feel and what are the thoughts that go with that feeling so that anytime, any place, any situation, in critical situations, man, in a heartbeat, you can begin to calm down so that you can be clear, confident, and consistent in how you perform. I think I need you full time because I feel like 24 hours a day, I'm just a walking stress person. And you're listening to me, David Kogan, host of the Alliances Hero Show. Make sure you go to alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. The only place where entrepreneurs align. In fact, you may have the opportunity to meet Deborah, Deborah Dubry live in person at one of our many experiences. She is the founder of Your Clear Edge. She's a high performance coach. You could reach her at yourclearedge.com. In fact, Deborah, you're on our advisory council. You're one of four on our advisory council. You're also the director of the strategic committees at Alliances. Talk to us a little bit, maybe briefly, about your experience and why so many people flock to you at our breakout sessions. Well, the one thing that I found with the Alliances is, you know, we are truly a community. We bring people together that care about each other. It's not networking. It's not give me your card and I'll take your card. Give me five of them because I'm now now supposed to go out and find people to help you, you know, with your business. Instead, we are a group of a, a community of entrepreneurs who are resources for each other. So we all flock to each other to say, hey, I've got an idea for you. You know, here's somebody I can introduce you to. Uh, people typically come my direction with the, I want to be as confident as you are. I want to feel that powerful, you know, that I feel from you when you get up and speak. And they don't realize that, you know, to be confident is really an end result. The thing they need most is courage, the courage to take action. And with that comes confidence. So do you offer any type of coaching series for that, for people? I do. There's a couple things. Uh, one is I do one-on-one -on -one private coaching. I also have a group called SURE, which stands for the Society of Understanding and Reaching Excellence. Uh, the first group out was, is High Performing Women. It's a year-long group for entrepreneurs where they have the peer-to-peer advisory council and also I teach the um, science-based techniques and technology for them to up yours <laughs> up themselves and uh, grow themselves first so then they can grow their business and I think that's phenomenal having you part of it because you're overseeing it you're there making sure everything's running and 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 giving them that confidence absolutely so I mean that's incredible you're also an author of average is an addiction and how in one minute, can you tell us a little bit about one of these books and what it's about? Averages and Addiction from Mediocre to Millions is a very straightforward, in-your-face, easy-read book that is based on teaching you um, how to tame and train your beast. The B is for beliefs, the E is for emotions, the A is for acute awareness, S is your self-identity because we cannot outperform ourselves uh, and how we think about ourselves when we're all alone with our thoughts. And then the T is your talk and walk. It's your verbal and nonverbal language. So within that book, it will teach you how to perform at that next highest level. And also, too, as you have grown children, and often as parents, we really don't realize um, that our kids are listening, right? What have yours learned from you that truly surprised you? Uh, I have t you're right. I have two grown children, a boy and a girl. And one thing that I see coming back from them all the time is, Mom, thank you for teaching me how to be resilient, how to be strong, how to make good decisions and not follow what everybody else around me is telling me I should do. Mm, absolutely. Mm. I love it. I love it. I love it. And Deborah, again, you could reach her at Your Clear Edge. Dot com. Well, Deborah, you help your clients up theirs in performance, passion, and profits. That's a hero, and that's someone that takes a tremendous amount of patience. So make sure, again, you go to Deborah Dubry. You can go reach her at yourclearedge.com, or, of course, we'll have it on alliances.com. This is David Kogan with Alliances. <laughs>